Hello and welcome back here on your channel Aperture 1.4. This video is about how to change the DX code on your analog compact camera. This camera is an Olympus AF1 Twin. This camera has got two lenses, a 35mm lens and a 70mm lens. And you have got only here a few buttons, but an important button is missing. You can't change the speed of the film. The camera has an DX code and nothing more. No backlight button, nothing. And in this video, I want to show you how to change the DX code here on this camera or perhaps on other cameras which have also no backlight button or another possibility to change the film speed. With this tip, you can also use films that do not have a DX code at all. Changing DX code, more light for your negative film. DX coding where DX stands for digital index, refers to standardized, coded, electrically readable markings on the cartridges of photographic film. The DX code makes everything simple. You insert your color negative or black and white film into your compact camera, and through this encoding, your camera knows two characteristics of your film, the number of exposures available, and the film speed. You no longer have to worry about the hassle of setting film speed, nor can you accidentally set the wrong film speed. However, there are two principles in analog photography regarding film exposure. Slide films are used to project slides using slide projectors. Of course, you can produce paper images from slide films, but this is not the main purpose of this film material, nor is slide film optimized for this purpose. Slide films are basically exposed on the highlights, tending to be underexposed, less light gets onto the film, so the colors appear more vivid and through projection details in the shadows also become visible. Color or black and white negative films, on the other hand, need more light, so that the shadows are well defined. In this case, please expose to the shadows, more light comes onto the film, because the shadows are darker than areas drawn by light, and therefore require a longer exposure time, or a larger aperture. However, Many compact cameras do not even offer the possibility of setting exposure corrections, or allow the film speed to be changed. You will also look in vain for a backlight button on some models. This button allows you to correct the exposure time by plus 1 or plus 1.5 stops. For example, the camera's exposure meter would output the following values at ISO 100, 1 500th of a second exposure time at f8. If you now press the backlight button, the value changes to 1 500th of a second at f5.6 plus 1 stop more light or 1 500th of a second at f4.5 1.5 stops more light, the aperture is opened wider so that more light can reach the film during the same exposure time. More information about this can be found on my homepage. So what can you do to get more light onto your negative film and you can't change it manually, like with this Olympus AT1 Twin? Just change the DX code. Fake a low film speed of the inserted film to your camera. On the internet, you can find some videos that show you how to change the code by scratching the corresponding black spots, or by painting it with black color. This is too complicated for me personally. My easy way is, just order DX stickers. Just keep in mind, that the then faked film speed will be used for all shots. But it's better to feed a negative film with more light than too little. Take a look at how it all works, and don't forget, visit my homepage for more information about the relationship between shutter speed, aperture, and film speed, and keep browsing through the great world of analog and digital photography. Have fun! Here I show you the result. I put the DX code sticker ISO 400 on the Kodak Porta 800 ISO film. The camera recognizes the ISO value, and exposes the film accordingly. For example, you want to change the film speed of this Kodak Porter 800 to ISO 400 and so this negative film gets more light. And more light is mostly good for color negative films. Here it is, the famous Porter 800 by Kodak.
800 ISO and we will change the film speed to ISO 400. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoy it and please take a look at my homepage www.aperture1.4.com